Hey, Michael, good to see you. After last game, you said that your hope was that your guys wouldn't let go of the rope. Um, in doing film work yesterday in preparation for today and other, you know, meetings that you've had in anticipation of today, what's your sense of your guys' mindset going into uh, game four? Uh, mindset is, you know, uh, obviously just win game four. Uh, trying to uh, chop down that the size and enormity of the challenge in front of us, Mike. And uh, so we're not talking about uh, winning four straight games. We're, we're talking about winning the first quarter tonight in hopes of winning game four and just concentrating fully on that. Uh, the feel I get from our players yesterday, uh, when we went through the film uh, this afternoon, this morning, um, is that they still believe. Uh, that's a sense that I get. But I think it will be pretty easily discernible when we start the game and how we're playing, uh, if that belief is real or if it's more talk. Uh, but I've been around most of these guys. You know, I think I often forget how many new players we have here that just got here. But being around the guys that have been here for a while, uh, we've always shown and proven uh, that when people count us out, when things are looking really bleak and we're facing adversity, sometimes that's when we're at our best. Um, so that is my hope. Is, uh, is to go out there to fight, don't give up, and uh, and find a way to force this series back to Phoenix. Next, we'll go to Esteban Abed. Hi, Coach. Uh, in recent years, Denver has shown how dangerous it is in a possible elimination game. Do you think that in, today, in today's game, sorry, this can be to your advantage? Well, I, I don't know if it's ever an advantage, uh, Esteban, to be down 3-0 uh, and to clearly not have played our best basketball. Um, you know, Phoenix has outplayed us. They, they've outcoached us. They've out everything you want to call it. Um, as I just mentioned, though, Esteban, I do, I do know from being in these situations before with a core group of guys that have been here before uh, that we've been able to um, stave off elimination six times last year in Orlando. Obviously, I think um, this is no excuse. This is our reality. Uh, Jamal Murray uh, allowed that to, to happen last year uh, with, with the level of play that he played at in Orlando. And obviously, Jamal's not available. So that's where you need other guys to step up uh, in his place. But uh, we put ourselves in this situation. We're down 3-0. And now we have to understand what it takes to get our first win of this series and to avoid that elimination. Next, we'll go to Vinny Benedetto. Hey, Michael, kind of building off Mike's question there, I guess um, when, when, you, when you're talking about the first quarter, what are, what are some things you're looking for that you'll be able to say, mm -hmm. all right, these guys, are, these guys are still in it, they're still engaged? Uh, just the effort. You know what I mean, like, um, are we defending? Uh, are we having discipline within the game plan? Are we sprinting back? I mean, you know, we, we talk a lot about their pick and roll offense, uh, which has proven to be very lethal. First round against the Lakers, second round against us all season long. Um, you know, but their transition, I mean, they're averaging 21 points a game in transition. Um, and that has not improved after one, two or three. So are we sprinting back? Are we getting back? Are we forcing them to play half court? Um, and just our body language, you know what I mean? Our, our engagement, like looking at a guy in his eyes and seeing he, he's here, he's present, he's engaged, he's with me. Or is he, you know, uh, thinking about the pina colada he's going to be sipping on in, in a day or two? Uh, and again, I, I've never had that sense from our guys uh, in six years. And uh, I don't expect that to happen tonight. I expect a, uh, a terrific effort play hard and, and find a way to get a win to force this to a game five back in Phoenix. We'll go to Arnie Stapleton, Associated Press. Hey, Michael, I'm uh, just curious what your reaction was when Nicola has this historic performance in last game and then apologizes to his teammates because he felt he didn't do enough or he could have done more. What's your reaction as a head coach when an MVP has that kind of uh, reaction to his performance. Yeah, it's uh, it speaks to who Nicola is at his very core. Um, you know, it's never about Nicola. That, that's what I love about him, and I do love him. 
Uh, what I love about Nicola is that he truly embodies being selfless. He receives the award and says, this is a product of all my teammates. Uh, he's not a me guy. He's not an I guy. He's a we guy. And I mean, for him to, after he put up a stat line that only the likes of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Wilt Chamberlain uh, have matched 30 plus, 20 plus, and 10 plus, and say he could have done more uh, is not surprising, and it speaks to who he is. And, uh, and that's where I think I'm so fortunate to have a superstar that is about all the right things. And, uh, and hopefully that permeates throughout the entire locker room uh, and organization. Um, and the reality is, you know, he came in after the game into the back and we were talking after the game. And he's talking about all the shots that he had that he missed that could have gone in, the free throws that he missed. Like he was beating himself up because he's striving for perfection. And he knows with the injuries that we have and the quality of opponent we're facing that he needs to be phenomenal for us to have a chance. And, uh, and I thought he was that the other night. All right, we have time for one more. We'll end with Nicole with Tab Deportes. How much the last year playoff experience when the team can overcome two, three, one in series is key to the mentality to the game today? Yeah, it's definitely something that we have uh, spoken about. Um, but you can't rely upon past history in present circumstances. You know, this is something where um, it's 3 0. We're without a special young talent in Jamal Murray, with, we're without PJ Dozier. Um, so, yes, the experience of going through that and responding and finding a way to win in two consecutive series, something that was never done before. So making NBA history was remarkable, um, you know, but I don't want to think about trying to win. This. Tonight is not about winning four games. You can only win one game at a time. You can only win one quarter at a time. So all of our focus right now is just on winning one game, win game four. And then after that, if we're lucky enough to win tonight, it goes back to Phoenix and our whole focus is on winning game five. One quarter at a time, one game at a time. That's our approach. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thank you.